We're back in this shit. Hey, folks. How's life? Hmm. <laughs> How are you folks doing? I know it's been a while. It feels like it's been a while. I think it's been two weeks. Is it one week? How do I skip my song? I want to skip my own shit. How you feeling? Frosty Pack, Joyful Amoeba, Gabby P. You know, you guys are the you guys are the early ones. Everyone else will file in, I believe. Um, do we have any suggestions for the plug room? <laughs> White girls theme. <laughs> That's every week, sir. Man, I'm open. Oh no, what happened to Scrub? My Zoom tool won't Scrub. How do I turn on Scrubby Zoom? How do I make Scrubby Zoom work? Yeah, I guess that did it. Oh. Sorry, you have to see all that shit, folks. All right. A true portrait of our president. I already did one when he got elected. I'm going to restart Photoshop because we're having some graphical issues. Music from a specific director's movies. Huh. What is this animated thing you're showing right now? This is really good. That is so good.
Man, every time I open up flat, uh, Photoshop, I'm really glad that my dick is not on here. Good lord. I... Like, I'd be in so much trouble. Scrubby Zoom is back, yes. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Wes Anderson soundtrack songs. How you doing, Titus? Ronald Wimberly. Uh, black dude? Sounds familiar. Wimberly. Oh, wow. Wimberly, yeah, this dude, I've seen his stuff. This guy's really good. Yeah, man, this guy's the shit. Did Wimberly work on Afro Samurai? What's going on, Evans? Uh, for a theme, for the theme in the plug room. Hmm. Wes Anderson movie sound soundtrack is not enough. It's like it's too too. What about? Hmm. going on Ryan um man it's a lot of choices let's do, you know we haven't done movie soundtracks in a while let's just do movie soundtracks if we stick to Wes Anderson there's like there's not enough there let's just do movie soundtracks um movie soundtracks songs from movies That's quick. 
Yeah, movie soundtracks, guys. Songs from movies. It doesn't have to be instrumental. You know what? Let's do instrumentals. Instrumentals only. Actually, okay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> never mind, because this song has words in it, so never mind, just songs from movies. How you doing, Kevin? I'm feeling good. I'm just uh, drawing some guy. I don't know what this, what he's doing. I don't like drawing against a white canvas anymore. It's a habit I, I want to break. Um, yeah, I really don't want to do that. Uh, is this work? No, this is just, I'm just fucking around. Yeah, this white background is driving me insane. Let's let's play around here. Uh use a color I don't usually use. Uh 74% opacity on the paint bucket. Let's try to make that 80. And let's uh Huh. Oh, nice, Mad Max. This makes me want to draw um, some of the Mad Max people.
drawing on the wrong layer. Draw a same color t-shirt? What? I don't know what that means. Neon Demon was good, man. If this song is longer, I would... um. You know what? I, I can pull off a little Furios Furiosa real quick. That's not tough. Which arm is which arm is uh, parallel? She has a left arm. Which which is the one that's fake? <laughs> Uh, Rick Fields and anyone wondering, I'm listening to the plug room. Uh, you can you can find that in the show notes below. You click that. You can listen to what I'm listening to. Everyone's playing music. Today's theme is uh, movie movie soundtracks. Anything that plays in a movie. Fuck you guys. I'm going to make whatever arm I want fake, and you can't shit on me if it's incorrect. boot is a little difficult uh it's not worth watching the mad max movies in order just just watch fury road <clears throat> i don't i don't really see much continuity i see like a style like a quality to the world but um there's not much continuity Dom, what's the hardest motions f to, to animator? What? Like, what? Like, do you think hacky sacking would be hard to animate? The hardest motions to animate. Anything, w dude, honestly, anything that's frame by frame, like breathing frame by frame, someone doing this, walking is the hardest thing. But if, if I had to choose one motion that's like super difficult, um, a fight maybe? Any, a fight where like you're mo a camera moving and it's not a static. Bjork was in a film?
Did anyone watch Taboo, that new movie with, uh, that new show with Tom Hardy? I'm using a uh, an electronic sketch pad, yes, a graphics tablet. If you're curious about what I use, it's all in the show notes. I, I lay it all out there. Oh, actually, I don't. I don't have the fuck. I need to edit my my little FAQ here. Have you guys been working on any cool materials? Favorite movie soundtrack? Mm, hmm, 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 hmm. Favorite movie soundtrack? Damn. Boogie Nights is pretty good, man. Magnolia has some cool ones. You know what? There will be blood. Speaking of, let's just put that in there. Oh, cool. Alright, you guys I gotta grab my food and eat on screen like a fucking goon. television screen there.
Yeah, I know right now I'm just eating. Sorry, guys. Magnolia is good. Definitely weird. The master, I don't think. How do I put this? It's one of those movies where it's like. P.T. Anderson clearly knows how to make a movie with a beginning, middle, and end. He knows how to make something that makes sense, but he didn't. That was a deliberate choice on his part to make that movie like that. C. Smith asked, how did I get an interview with Titanic Sinclair? He never does interviews. You're right. Um, the short answer is that I just asked him. That's that's the truth. Um, the longer answer is that I had a product that he liked. I mean, like, When you ask someone to do an interview, you're asking for their time. So, you gotta give them something that's, wor that's worth their time. There's fucking oil everywhere. Yeah, he is really. I mean, like I like I said this before. I'll say it again. Dude's dude's probably a genius. I honestly think. I honestly think that like twenty, thirty years from now, people will be looking back at his work and and he will be like. I think he's at the forefront of a new type of internet art that we we don't even understand. The dude is the real deal. Boogie nights. Okay, what I was going to say was like, when you're asking people for an interview, you're selling yourself as well. So like, I have, I have a very particular way I pitch interviews to people that I've learned over, um, over the years. Basically, I told them what I do. How I do it and what they're going to get out of it. What they get out of it is usually like a unique experience. No one else is doing what I'm doing in terms of interviews. So like, I think that's part of why I, why I got it. Like he's never been drawn into... Um, uh, Simulated animated environment, and I think that's what got him. He really is out there. I'm, I feel really fortunate because like, yeah, that was a really tough thing to get. And the dude was like, talked to me for an hour, like super open book. Thank you, C. Smith.
Here's a tip. If you're going to interview people, you got to do a lot of research. And I'd recommend not coming to them asking shit like where you got started and shit like that because it's anything you can find online. No. Unless you feel like they're comfortable with you. I think he also knew that I wasn't going to come to him with some ridiculous shit like, Oh, so, uh, your art's weird, man. Like, what the fuck? So I think that's how I got, I got his trust, I think. I'd love to talk to that guy again. Any chance I get, I, I would jump at it. He's, there's another video where he's where he's hanging out. Um, it's a recent video where he's just chilling out with people and he's just talking. I sucked his dingling too. What is Hallelujah money? Yeah, movie soundtracks is the plug room theme. Oh, New Gorillas. Is it an album or a song? I haven't checked it out yet. My internet knowledge is pretty good, but honestly, I, I wait on you guys to tell me shit. I think if I get another interview for him from him, I'll wait another two years or so. Because if he says no, I'm going to feel like worse than getting getting rejected on a second date or something. Oh man, Moonlight or La La Land? Depends on how you want to feel, man. Moonlight is not a happy movie, but it's way deeper than La La Land. It's more real. La La Land is... They're both really excellently shot movies, though. Like, They're both beautiful for different reasons. How you doing, Yuri? What's going on, Fasine? How you feeling? I haven't resisted your snaps. I just watch them, I get hungry, and then I go do something else. It's like being in a long-distance relationship with a girl where she just sends you nudes. And she's like, why don't you reply? Like, yeah, well, fuck. I haven't eaten griot in years, okay? eating red curry right now, folks. <laughs> Greater than Slash Pua, yes. My Snap username is at the end of all my videos. Um, C-B-L-A-C-K-U-L-A, I believe. If you want a Snap code, just watch another one of my videos. It's at the end.
Do you guys follow follow any live streamers who stream like every day? Like video game streamers? I've abandoned my child. I'm gonna fly all the way to Montreal just to get some griot. You son of a bitch. Mm. Urban Buddha says there's this girl that used to send me nudes all the time and she'd get pissed if I didn't reply like it was the greatest thing ever. I know the struggle. I have girls will do that on Snap. They'll just send me pictures of them just smiling. And I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, it's cool, I guess. I don't know, man. Even nudes, you're like, you got to say, oh, it's nice. But it's like, it's just, it's just fucking nudes, whatever. Just when you up the ante, you tell them to put a belt around their neck, hang themselves, you know, from the from the ceiling. That curry, incredible. I'm gonna wash myself up, hang on. God damn, 26 people in here now? Shit, you guys. <sighs> okay. Who is playing Spon this SpongeBob shit, man? God damn it. I come down to this. You guys are talking about dicks when I. What the hell are y'all talking about, man? John John is the best, man. Um. The best Haitian food is griot with John John. If you have the John John with the shrimp in it, um, the potato salad with the beets in it. I don't know what this fucking called. Some lambi on the side, macaroni. Okay, wait, wait, wait. John John with the shrimp, 
a little bit of mac mac and cheese, griot for your for your meat, a little bit of stewed chicken, potato salad. <laughs> you can put this all on the same plate if you're a fat boy. You can you can accomplish it. Ryan Chandler says, Dom, how do you how do you get thoughts? I'm gonna tell you right now, okay. Simple step, okay? I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know. Yeah, the plug room theme is music, movie soundtracks. What's going on, Lavender? How you been? You got a full house today, man. I'm a goofy goober. Damn it, this fucking song, dude. It won me over. All right, so a quick Furiosa before I go back to the other thing. I'm a goofy goober. I think her arm's too long. Magnolia. Um... Got one of my favorite tracks coming up. Okay, okay. Take it easy, C. Smith, man. Thank you for coming through. Uh, okay, Furiosa, Furiosa. What the hell movie is this from, dude? I was poor, now I'm not poor no more, and I was p- poor. way too long Let's squeeze that down there Damn, this is hard to draw. I hate drawing people with open mouths. It's really difficult. Phantom of the Paradise? I've never heard of it. I 
I'm a goopy goop. Oh, shit. Damn it. It's just Furiosa. Come on, dude. Stop. Maybe I should just lean into this a little more. Whoops. Shit. There we go. mouth is so ugly it's tough this is what I do you, you're by yourself you do It's ugly. <laughs> Big Negro lips. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I'm uh, I'm quitting. All right, let's let's go back to the weird guy. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Anybody got any suggestions? Thoughts on the Walking Dead comic? I stopped reading it um around issue 100 actually. So yeah, I, I Yeah, I stopped reading once they got to DC. Yeah, I'm open. To, I'm open to suggestions because I don't really feel like drawing this ugly guy. <laughs> Steampunk action. That's very vague. No, my drawing was shit. It just wasn't good. My version of Superman. You know what? I don't. I hate drawing him. I don't like drawing Superman, but maybe I should. Okay, let me give it a shot. My version of him. My version of Superman. Oops. Zero. Huh. <sighs> you know, he's just not an interesting character to me, honestly. Because I think the best version of him is the All-Star Superman.
Yeah, he's a tough one because he's not. But if I had, if I had to write a Superman story, if I really, really had to, have I ever done a already done a drawing for Moonlight? Yeah, I made um, I'm actually. I never finished this one. Now that I think of it, maybe I should finish this today. Right after this, after Superman, I'll get back to that. Um, I had a Chiron drawing that I never really finished. Gif, 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 gif. Uh. What day was it that I drew that? Was it the 18th? No. Was it the 25th? No. No, not the 20th. Maybe the 16th. No. 17th? HK, what is the hiatus coyote? See, what, where the fuck, 15th? Duchamp, no, 13th, Chiron, there we go, yeah, I drew this, yeah, this is a, it's, it's, it's coming along, it just didn't really, yeah, maybe I should go ahead and finish that later. This is what I want to do to all my drawings. To put shapes all over them. <laughs> this thing is pretty high res, as you can see. It goes pretty far. If I had, thank you. Um, Superman has a ton of interesting stories. Too many people focus on the fact that he punches real good. Injustice is fabulous. I heard that's good. Red Sun is good. Yeah, you're right. Rebirth, eh. Not really interested in that. If I had to write a Superman story, he wouldn't be in it. <laughs> that would be a problem. So no one would, no one would, like, I think his absence is what he's all about. Like, my story, if I made a Superman story, it would be about those moments where everyone is, like, praying for him the way you pray for God to come. Like, in a really bad battle where, like, everyone's getting their asses kicked or, like, or, like, something where, uh, like, a kid who lives in Metropolis who's who's getting his ass beat by bullies every day and and he just wishes he could be Superman like he wishes it could happen and I probably wouldn't have Superman show up ever but like the the idealism of that like wishing that you were him um that sort of stuff I think that's interesting I think and I think that's what makes him interesting is uh is the fact that he is pretty much a god even even to the other Justice League members, like if he comes out, like the the battle's over. So most times you're thinking about like what he's doing. Like I think all the punching and the shit is unnecessary. It's like you, we already know at this point that he can't be beaten. So let's let's talk about other shit.
This this beat sounds like it was made in Fruity Loops. <laughs> He always has a super strong chin. Why is his chin never, never weak? This is a little quacks theme. All right. Tank Girl, I've never I never read it, but I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, I do. I do still really want to do a comic, um, something really short. But again, it's like, do you really want to read a Superman comic about some kid begging for him to come and he never does? Like that's. Yeah, so in my ideal Superman story, I wouldn't have to draw him at all, pretty much. I don't know if there's any way to make him actually interesting. If I had him in an actual story, I might just have a Clark story. Like, I don't really think... I don't really I don't really want to have the right Superman. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd want to write Clark, though. Something where he's, like, he's learning about people's lives and shit. Like... If he works for their equivalent of the M of NPR, just like interviewing people as to like how they feel about how they feel about Superman or how they feel about um, superheroes in general. Anatomy sucks, man. <laughs> What is Lost Highway about? You guys read a Clark Kent book? <laughs> Like Jessica Jones, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, something where, like, where he's, like, actually just doing his job. And I don't want to see, I don't want to see some shit where it's like, oh, he finds out this chick's kid is missing, and then, oh, he goes and, like, okay, I do lean towards the dark shit, so, like, it will be really interesting to see something where he, like, he talks to someone who's, whose kid died of something that he couldn't even prevent at his best. And him just, like, learning about it. But, like, having no Superman shit attached to it. You, but maybe you knowing that he is Superman would give 
some kind of flavor to the story and it had like but um I I don't even want to have to mention it Yeah, this song is kind of stressful. I watched Smallville for one season. And this shit where he's all he's always all clumsy and no one knows that he's like like that's so stupid. Like, oh, no one knows no one knows that he's Superman. Like what if he was an asshole bro? from Kansas what if he and you know what you know what might be interesting is a Superman story where like he he's like a Trump supporter he would be a Trump supporter you can't tell me that he wouldn't be dude I mean he seems like he he would be like a little more liberal but like nah man I think he would vote for Trump I think it'd be interesting to have a story where he's like just talking to to Bruce about it or something or just talking it or as Clark he's talking about why he supported Trump or some shit. Man, I am I am really just pulling this anatomy out of my ass. Like I I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. It sounds like some Smash Brothers music. I want to rewatch Whip Whiplash. Bruce Wayne probably would support Trump too, you're right, damn. He's not apolitical, dude. Bruce Wayne is a rich motherfucker. To say that, like, there's this stupid shit where it's like, we, we want our superheroes to be politically affiliated with what we want. Like, just because they're saving people all the time doesn't mean that, like, it's like he is he is saving saving people all the time from shit usually poor people in Gotham from crimes but like the people he's beating the shit out of are also really poor as well so it's like i don't think he really understands people that well i don't know that clark does that much either so i think that would be interesting to explore not in a really heavy-handed way where it's like these are white men i'm not i don't want to do that 
I just want to have a sincere, like, I don't know, just something where, where you really just question, like, look at these characters, like, like, what if, so what if Bruce Wayne did support Trump? Like, what, I don't know if there's a, if there's an interesting story to be, to be written in there, I, I'd be interested in seeing that. You should have put the Shrek, Shrek version of All-Star. The world is gonna roll me. This is a decent looking super ready, guys. I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. Um, if he's too overpowered, then write stories when he where he cut his conflicts to super villains. Bruce really doesn't make sense in my opinion. I love the idea of a millionaire humanitarian who fights crime, but it just isn't realistic. Exactly, man. It's it's not. My I think my best Superman idea was having a situation where he's like, I want to see him get hospitalized for like mental illness issues like Bruce. Bruce gets hospitalized and then he has to like, he gets put in some kind of insane asylum and he he has to confront the fact that he is nuts and there's like, let's say there's a breakout, like a like a breakout of his enemies and he has to, this is more of a Bruce haircut, isn't it? Shit. Um, and then he has to fight his way out while like battling his own personal shit in the asylum. I think that'd be cool. This really does look more like Bruce, doesn't it? They, then again, they're they're both like generic ass white looking dudes. Ew. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh. Hello.
I don't know, man. You know, this song, I've heard it so many times that I just like, I just like it now. I said, yep, yeah, what a concept. Uh, the M83 soundtrack is probably the only good thing to come out of Oblivion, that movie. I gotta work on my eyebrows, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I think I'm goofing up a little bit on it. I mean, he's got the, the strong Channing Tatum face. Like, he should have, like, a, like a Peyton Manning head. Like, a goofy-ass big fucking head. Big dumb Brett Favre face, uh, Peyton Manning face. And he's always clean shaven, isn't he? Why, why is that? Why can't he have a stash? Like Green Lantern has a beard. <laughs> His beard sucks. Fuck boy stash. Julio mustache. Mm. 
No, that's more Batman giving him a scowl. Uh... Damn, this song is long. God damn. A minute left? Shit. Alright. Clark Kent's little lips. His tiny lips. Ponytail. <laughs> oh, God, I am seven years old. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with me, man? D. Burnage says, I like his build. It's realistically powerful. It's hard to quantify his expression, though. I'd like to think he's a quarterback bred, but he spent his life hiding his strength. Yeah, pretty much. Honestly. You take the cowlick out, and then he's Bruce Wayne. The mouth is tough, man, because I, there's so many things you can do with the mouth, you know? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> uh, uh, I hate drawing smiles. Maybe I just don't know how to draw as people smiling. It always just looks weird to me. Man. I hate drawing smiles. Yuck. I'm Superman. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Yuck. I want to give him Channing Tatum lips. Ew, dude, the fact that they're making a train spotting too is like an abomination. Choose life. You know what? I know where I goofed. These eyes don't make sense.
This is before he became Obi Wan. Whatever, fuck that. You see, yeah, spending 20 minutes on his fucking face. God damn it. Dummy. Just a perfect day. I'm drawing this based on my own arms. It just just so you guys know, I don't, you know. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Tee hee. Maybe it's in the eyebrows. Maybe that's what's making him look mean.
folks. All right, so. The nachos. Thank you, Omar. UT, what the hell is that? University of Texas? Utah? Honestly, it probably am better at, at drawing brews. Fourteen thousand subs on this man. That means that fourteen thousand people have watched me eat nachos. <laughs> hmm Best food scene in the movie Uh Hannibal I don't know Food scene. Oh, watch the movie Big Night. That's one. These nachos, man. Oh. See that? So that's what the inside of my heart looks like. This song is making me dab. All right. Real with cheese is overrated, man. Oh, this is always the annoying part. The feet. Like, what kind of boots does he wear? I don't know. Let's change the color of this thing to zoop. That's better. I'm on the Mexican radio. I'm on the Mexican, whoa, radio. The king of drawing boots is Frank Quitely. That is who I'm praying to now that these boots make sense.
Oh, the posture's fucked up, man. His lower half, I mean, this is me really showing my, my flaws here. This is, his lower half doesn't look as good. That's because I don't draw enough lower halves. Yeah. Um. My nose is all drippy. What movie is this from? All Royal Tenenbaums. Lula says he'd be complaining about his lower half messed up a little. Meanwhile, I can't even draw a cardboard box. <laughs> Superman probably has the biggest bit. Oh, wow. The biggest bit. Oh, my God. The biggest bit. I literally just said that. The biggest bit. Oh, what's going on, Dan James? My favorite artist of all time, I don't want to say a living guy because that's probably that's some bullshit, but um, total package, maybe Basquiat. Probably James Jean, man. The dig is dick. The diggest, the, the, he has the diggest big. Everyone digs his big, big pen. No, really though, the, the king of boot drawing is Frank Quietly. You will learn from him. Damn, this is a good song, dude. Let me grab that shit, dog. You know what it sounds like is... Ah, oh, fuck it. There's just some chick now that sounds like her. Shift the dick over a little bit. Towards here. And he does have a six pack, so. You know what? No, it's not going to show through that much.
I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Top three picks are Toy Story. Um, is it Inside Out? Is Inside Out Pixar? I don't, I don't know. Ratatouille is one of the best movies ever made. I'm about to blast you, dude. Maybe I should watch it because I've never seen it. You mad now? I think I finally under, understand chest anatomy. I used to have a lot of dr issues drawing that shit, but now not so much. Does Ratatouille ever get some pussy? Does he ever fuck in the movie? That's all I care about, dog. I only care if my mans get some rat, rat, uh, rat tail, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. No, really, though, does he have a love interest? If I move this leg back slightly, it'll be more realistic. Like so. In the typical contrapasto pose. His only love is food. Oh, okay. So if uh, if uh, Inside Out is Pixar, then that's their set, that's their next best film, in my opinion. In my stupid opinion, I like the idea of Superman having a little bit of a gut, you know. Ba -boom. I'm about to be like Steve Harvey right now. If you guys aren't clicking woot on this damn disaster piece song y'all motherfuckers does he have a bell I don't think so someone left the room Like, what if he does have a belt like this? And then his dick right, right under it. Uh, what if he has a big belt, you know? And some power armor shit. I like how some of the nerds weren't really smart. Like there was a, the the black dude was just gay. Like that was his thing. Yeah, he was just gay.
His cape wouldn't be this long, would it? What if they got booed off stage? Man, I don't know about this cape, dude, but I'm going to keep it. Why would she be masturbating in a magazine at a lobby? That damn Nikki. So, never mind. Is there any sort of like Krypton sign? Oh, the S is supposed to be a Kryptonian sign, right? I want to give him like some power gauntlets. You know what? No, no, fuck it. Fuck power gauntlets. Let's just make these colors happen. Let's make these colors happen for the boy. I really don't know what his suit is supposed to look like color wise. Superman. Shit. Blue. I goofed up. He does have a belt. Okay. This song is the shit. I don't remember it in Death Proof, though. Though. Uh, red and blue, yeah.
This sounds like Harley Quinn singing. I like to I like to sniffle hard after I make a punctuate a punctuation in my statement. God damn it. Ah, I fucker. I fucked up, man. There we go. Let's see if we can salvage this. Da, 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 da. We paste this here. Merge it down. Young man. Oh, you listen to me. Okay, um... I said, young man! Why was this song initially made? Was it commissioned by the YMCA? Why did the village people make this song, dude? I just gotta know, man. Let's, let's make this too. The inner parts of the S and the shield are yellow. His S shield are yellow, but looks better in black. The inner parts? What are you saying? If I do, if I do this, ah, uh, nah. I never color costumes before uh, skin. So this is a little different for me. Let's give him some black boots, whatever. He's he's a uh, intense military clerk. <laughs> oh, that's Smash Mouth edition, man. Maybe I should make the belt black.
erase some of that stuff down red cape of course it's got to be a red cape Billy Crystal always has the sing, doesn't he? You know, I've never watched Monsters, Inc. Wasn't there a second one? Oh, Monsters University. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can we can put in some skin tones, some white boy skin tones here. Yo, his. Never mind. Uh, I don't know anything about Shazam other than that, uh, I guess he's a little boy in a man's body. Every time I see a depiction of him, though, it's, he doesn't really act childish enough for me. Like, 10 years old is really young. So if he's, so if he turns into... If he turns into a grown-ass man, you guys already know where I'm coming, going with this. He turns into a grown-ass huge man, right? Good-looking man. All the ladies in the Justice League see him walking around, right? They don't know what they don't know his origins. They just know that he's a gorgeous-ass man. If they start grabbing on him and trying to go out with him and shit, you know, having impure thoughts about him, uh, is that is that uh, pedophilia? What is that? Because he's mentally a boy, right? He's like Michael Jackson. What is that? Answer me that. Let's add some trim to the sides of these sides of these pants. Uh, nah, nah, nah. This has happened. Women hit on Shazam all the time. 
Hmm. He has the wisdom of Solomon, though, so he's not as mature. So he's more mature than Shazam. I don't know what that means. Solomon, the guy who tried to slice a baby in half, that guy, Wise King Solomon. Wise King Nadia Suleiman. Didn't we play this already for Boogie Nights? I mean, I'll still allow it, but you know. All right, you guys, we're going to we're going to close out like right now. <laughs> Please a uh, quick like on the video. Uh congrats once again to Congrats once again, you guys, for helping me get to 14K subs. I'm going to post this on uh, on the social media in a sec. Oops. Uh, I, I want to adjust these colors a little bit, but... What the hell? This might be better. Thanks for watching as usual. You guys know where to find me. I don't know if I should trim this up. Yeah, I'm going to finish this up, post it in a sec. Thank you, you guys. Thank you very much for coming through. Come on, computer box. Come on now. All right, you guys, I'll see you soon tomorrow. Drawing to the Migos album that just came out. Thanks again for coming by. See you later. Bye.